theory of the airplane. This is what we have. Okay. And uh, with that, if we are dealing with a fixed uh, lattice, of course there are not many simple cubes, but for, just for simplicity, we would know the lattice constant. And let's say somehow we measured uh, the sublimation energy, and as a result, the bonding strength. Okay. If we are going to plot, if we are going to plot the gamma versus theta in a so-called polar system as a function of this angle, okay, zero, that's my origin, I would have distance and I would have angle, okay, one direction would be my zero, zero, one, zero, zero direction, the other one would be my zero, one, zero direction. If I'm going to plot this gamma, if I limit, if I would limit the theta from zero to from zero, if this is my origin from zero all the way to 90 degree for this mathematical function, it's going to be a circle. It's going to be a, from an, your analytical geometry, it's going to be a circle with radius of this guy, but sorry, with diameter of this guy, and it would be at a 45 degree away from the one zero zero direction. If we're going to plot, it's going to be something like this. If we plot this function and the limit the angle from zero to 90 degree, it's going to give us this one. Of course, the red one is limits the angle from 0 to 90 degree. The red one gives us the actual plot. Okay, and we can do the same thing for other angles. But anyway, let's look at uh, one number. Here, if I'm pointing this one, here my angle is what? 0, right? If this is my origin, polar system, this is one of my polar axis. I'm rotating only zero degree from my original axis, zero. And this is in fact correspond to the so-called one zero zero direction. Theta equals zero, that gives us a number, become this one. And then this one gives us a so-called ESV one zero zero. Similarly, if I'm pointing to here, our theta would be what? From here rotates to here, that's 45 degree of pi over 4. And inside pi over 4 minus pi over 4, that will be 0. Cosine 0 give us 1. That's our largest number. The distance from here to here, that is your radius. Make sense? From here to here, that is our radius. That's the radius for, sorry, the diameter for this circle. Okay, and what is that plane? That is our 45 degree away. That's our so-called 110, 110 plane. The 110 surface energy would be given by that one. Okay, we can do the same thing. If we don't limit from zero to 90, we are, if we're going from 90, all the way to 180, from 180 to 270, and from 270 all the way to 360 degree. Here we are going to draw how does the surface energy change with orientation if we are going to plot the gamma plot. The distance from the origin to this plot would be our absolute value of the surface energy for any arbitrary plane at an angle, at an angle, certain angle away from your original low index plane. So this so-called contour gamma plot, 
this plot tells us at any angle what would be the surface energy per unit area at a certain direction i'm aligned with my original low index plane i have the minimum what surface energy at a certain angle i would have larger surface energy and i rotate certain angle i'm repeating because from one zero zero it's geometrically equivalent as zero one zero okay so this is our so-called contour plot we can plot the surface energy we will be able to know how does the surface energy change with orientation and you would say okay why does this matter it matters okay it can help us to understand the equilibrium shape of a very small single crystal equilibrium shape of a single crystal the shape of a single crystal if it's very small the shape of it would be determined by the minimization of the total surface energy for a fixed volume you see what i mean for a fixed amount of material or single crystal the crystal can look very long tall or very shallow flat plate or some other shape make sense depending on the orientation depending on how the surface but the equilibrium shape of that single crystal would be determined by the minimization of the total surface energy which is we want gamma i ai what does gamma i mean surface energy for a arbitrary surface right ai means the area for that arbitrary surface so for a single piece of crystal if it has certain given volume if it has certain given mass the surface can take the crystal can take different shape but what will be the so-called equilibrium shape means the shape that would give you the lowest energy it will be determined by the minimization of the total surface energy okay and then what people find is okay for arbitrary plane for arbitrary plane if i'm at uh, let's say 45 degree I'm at 45 degree. This arbitrary plane, the energy would be this much, the distance from the origin to the contour. And if we people draw a so-called parallel, no, sorry, perpendicular plane, perpendicular plane at this point to the contour plot, this plane people call it a wolf plane. You can construct at arbitrary point on this contour. If you connect from the origin to this arbitrary plane and then you would find a perpendicular plane this blue one is perpendicular to your vector from where from the origin to this contour point this angle is how much of that plane is away from your low index this blue one is another so-called wolf plane okay and what people find is also called wolf theorem is the equilibrium shape of this crystal the equilibrium shape of this crystal it will be determined by minimization of summation of the total surface energy but how do you find it people find it geometrically it will be bounded by all those wolf plane but inside of that wolf plane that can be reached from the origin without crossing any other wolf planes so which means i'm going to have this point i'm going to have a cut here this point i'm going to cut here this point i'm going to cut here so if i make all those cuts at all these points on the contour plot 
the inside, the smallest one that is encircled by all this blue plane would give us a this solid blue circle. Uh, sorry, um, square. And actually, it's a cube. And the shape of this crystal would resemble the inside of all these wolf plane. The equilibrium shape of a crystal would be determined by minimization of the total surface energy. And the minimization geometrically or mathematically, it will be determined if you construct so-called a wolf plane. The inside of all these wolf planes, the smallest one connected together, would give us the blue one. And that will give us the so-called equilibrium shape for the crystal.